budget session commenced yesterday on January 31st, with the President addressing both the Houses of Parliament together. The session, which is set to last for 27 days, will happen in two parts. The first one is scheduled to end on February 13th, and the second part will happen between March 13th and April 6th. The Union government plans to introduce 19 new bills in the ongoing session, one of which might be the draft Digital Personal Data Protection Bill 2022 as per very recent reports. But today is budget day, so let's find out how the 2023-2024 budget has fared for digital rights. The total budgetary allocation for MITE in the budget for 2023-24 is Rs 16,549 crores and this is a 15.73% increase from the previous financial year budget. This increase is even more when compared to the revised estimates of 2022-23, that is an increase of 41%. This is in contrast to the budgetary trends we witnessed in 2021, wherein there was underutilization of the budget. We appreciate MITE's decision to increase the budgetary allocation in this financial year and hope to see these funds be directed towards infrastructural development aimed towards increasing teleconnectivity and broadband connectivity, as well as overall digital literacy. While this was impressive, on a very disappointing note, MITE has allocated no funds towards PMG Disha in 2023-24. This is the first time since 2017-18 that no fund has been allocated towards the Rural Digital Literacy Scheme. We noted our concerns last year as well when allocations to it were, an, were at an all-time low since 2018-19. The allocations made to the scheme must increase in order to ensure its effective progress and robust digital literacy in the country. On a disappointing note, the total budgetary allocation for Ministry of Home Affairs is 22% lower than what was allocated for in the budget estimates for the previous financial year. However, this is still a 7.8% increase in comparison with the revised estimate for 2022-23. The total allocation for census in the budget is 183% more than the revised estimate for 2022 and 2023. The allocation to the National Health Mission under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare is 143% more than the revised estimate for 2022-23. Budgetary allocations to NHM in the last year also brought a pleasant surprise with a massive 166% increase. In another positive move, the total budgetary allocation for Ministry of Information and Broadcasting witnessed a 17% increase from the previous budget and an 11% increase from the revised estimates of last year. Continuing the positive trend, MIB has increased the allocation under total central sector schemes and projects by 75% as compared to last year. Lastly, coming to the Department of Telecommunications, the total budget allocation has witnessed an increase of roughly 15 and 19 percent as compared to the budget and revised estimates for 2022-23 respectively. The Universal Service Obligation Fund or USOF has been allocated 10,400 crores, which is a 15 percent increase from the budgetary allocation for the year 2022-23. However, it must be noted that out of the 9,000 crore allotted last year, only 3,010 crore was retained in the revised estimates, noting a decrease of 66%. We hope to not see this trend in the coming year. The total allocation for DOT projects increased by 209% from the previous year's budget and 448% from the last year's revised estimates. Overall, we'll say that it's a mixed bag. While there are definitely some notable highs, there are also some disappointing lows. The additional cause for concern is the decrease in the actual budget as compared to the revised estimate and in the revised estimates as compared to the budget estimates. We can only hope that in the coming years we witness a positive trend in budget allocation as well as utilization. If you like our work and want to support us, please consider donating to us. And also, if you want to join the IFF community, join us on Telegram. Both the links are in the bio.